An interesting fact is that nearly 88% of all the grocery sales in Ireland are controlled by four buyers. So four buyers in, you know, Dunn's, Tesco, Super Value, Super Quinn, they control 88% of all grocery sales. So, you know, you have to get into that environment if you want to have a successful food company long term. But this is where you start. So you start in your kitchen, you get into the local markets, you move into the local stores, and eventually you get into that 88% of the market by getting your multiple listing. You'll see things happening in markets that you won't see in supermarkets, because you'll see innovation can happen in markets that can't happen as quickly in the supermarket environment. So it's a great place to see new products and new producers coming through. Food business gurus Connor Hyde and Kieran O'Connor are on a mission to develop small Irish food producers into global brand names. Connor is a food marketing specialist and Kieran is a food production specialist. With their complementary skills, they believe any food entrepreneur with a good product and the right guidance can make it onto the supermarket shelves in Ireland and around the world. You followed all the tips on unique selling points. Your list, and, uh, your list yes. took a couple of days to go through, Connor. Cooking yes. instructions and. And yeah. everybody does know you, so when we said, Connor told us we could give us a buzz. Right. Yeah, so yeah, so that was very helpful. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Very... Connor and Kieran have been amazing. Oh my God, because we were kind of. We were doing all this, you know, kind of struggling along, and he just went, right, X, Y, and Z, this is what you need to do. The guards have really come a long way since September, I guess they started approximately in September, we're now in January, and they've spent that time here on the market developing their product, tweak it, uh, getting a handle on you know, what their customers like. Connor is working on their, their uh, packaging and brandy at the moment, and uh, we're shortly going to be launching their new packaging. Uh, and I'm working on the production side, working on their production premises, and also automating the process so they can increase production without losing any of the quality of the products. An awful lot of company, companies move on to the next stage very quickly. So within six months, the Irish Larder Company, as an example, we hope to have them on the supermarket shelves. In less than a year, Kinsale Gourmet has gone from an idea to the supermarket shelf with the help of the food specialists. Nine months ago, I met uh, Karen and Connor. I uh, had the concept of setting up a uh, food production unit. Over the last nine months, I set up the branding and packaging, and we were introduced to uh, most of the ma uh, major uh, supermarkets in Ireland. So when we met Owen first day, he had uh, an idea in his mind. Uh, he saw a gap in the market, and he knew that there was an opportunity to launch frozen restaurant quality meals for one in the marketplace. He just didn't know how to go about it. And that's where we came in then to take him from you know, A to B right through in nine months. Uh, to get a brand to the shelf in nine months, from concept to getting it listed in the multiples is, uh, is pretty, pretty, pretty fast work. Owen and Miriam worked very closely with us and they really took on board all of our uh, suggestions and advice. Challenged us at times, but when we were able to explain our reasoning for taking them in a particular direction, they supported it completely. So there is huge satisfaction in that. I guess that's what keeps both myself and Connor going is the satisfaction of seeing those products on shelf and more importantly when we see those products selling off shelf. Over the next six weeks, Connor and Kieran will help a diverse group of characters grow their food ideas into household brands. From left of field to right on the money, the food specialists will commit all of the time and resources needed to make their ideas into the next big thing.